Keep over here, the formula, you copy the formula from here, you will get the same rate of interest. Because effective rate of interest is same, just you have to change time to again 0. Because here the time was 1, here you have to change time from 0 to 1 to 0. You copy the formula from here to here. Are you getting? The same can also be calculated as offering a loan of rupees 9500 and taking 9 installment as both are one and the same thing. See the formula above. Because here we are taking 0 instead of 1. But the effective, effectively we are calculating it for 9. So when it becomes 0 and the actual payment becomes 9500, it is 1 and the same thing. That's why the rate of interest is effective rate of interest is also coming similar as that to the case. Is it clear to everyone? Fine. Have you calculated it? Everyone? Very good. So let us proceed further. So this is the formula which is being highlighted up. Now the alternative way. Now what? Now listen very carefully the problem. What the seller is telling you? Seller is saying, for example, seller, uh, if you bargain with the seller and you told that no, no, it, it cannot be 3.6%. It is more than that. So seller told you, whatsoever it, it, it is more, it is not more than 4.5%. Okay, the seller now is saying that the rate of interest, the effective rate of interest is not more than 4.5% for your pay. Okay, now let us check whether the seller is correct or not. We have to see whether we are paying. Now, the criteria over here is that what you are doing is you will be paying 1500 rupees every year for the machine you are purchasing today. So, if the present value of 1500 rupees paying every year for 10 years comes less than 11,000 then you are in benefit because you are paying less, less amount than what is required to be paid or if it comes as equal as 11,000 the rate of rate given by seller is good I repeat again if 1500 rupees is paid every year by you for 10 years you have to calculate the present value of it. If the present value of 1500 rupees paid every year <coughs> today comes equal to the machine you are purchasing today, then it means that the rate at which the seller is giving you the interest is good rate or he is saying correct. And if the present value of the amount, present value of the cash outflows better I say you are doing in the future years is more than what you are getting today then you are at loss. So let us see whether it satisfies it, it or not. It means what you have to do? You have to discount this 1500 by 4.5% interest and you have to see whether the present value is coming equal to the price of the machine. So apply the formula, simple formula for the present value which you have already done it before and see whether it is coming correct or not. How much? 4,000. Oh. 11,869. 11,869 rupees is coming. Now this is the the value is more than because now what is this? The annual payment you are making 1500. The present value of the annual payment you should be making for the years to come is more than what you are getting now because we are equating both the situation at the common platform that is the future values we are coming up to present and how much we are paying for the machine is in present. So how much we are paying? How much we are actually paying? 11,869 and how much value we are receiving from the machine? 11,000. So we are paying more than what we are receiving. So we are at loss. It means the rate given by the seller is wrong. And what is the actual rate given by the seller? You have already calculated it in the previous question. It is 6.08 remaining other things. Okay? <coughs> now if you want to check it off, you can check it by putting here 6.08. Put 6.08 over here and see what, what is coming. Put 6.08 over here. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? 10,998 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
just approximation just because of the right so are you satisfied are you is it clear to all shall i proceed further Now, deferred annuities. Now, what is the deferred annuity? Any income flow which is beginning from a future date, but whose amount is to be calculated now is called deferred annuity. Whether you are receiving any amount after a certain period of time, or whether you are paying any amount after passing of certain period of time, are called deferred annuities. Means there is annual payment. But that annual payment or receipt is being deferred for certain period, and the period for which it has been deferred, nothing is neither is received or or is paid or whatever. Okay, so these are called deferred annuities. Now let us take an example which you have already given or taken up. This is better I call a revised example. Let us do a revisionary exercise. We'll be getting a copy of it. Don't worry about it. What will be the amount available to an employee at the time of his retirement at the age of 60? 11,000 is deducted annually one year from now when he ages 30 at the rate of 9%. Okay, 9% is not mentioned here, but I suppose you have done this yes, particular problem previously. And for your remembrance, let me tell you this was the answer you got, and this is the formula which you applied. If you want to apply it once again, you can do it once again also. Annual payment to be made is eleven thousand. Okay, for thirty years it is to be paid. Nine percent is the rate. The future value which will get accumulated at the time of his retirement will be about fifteen lakhs. Is it visible to you? Yes. FP B four B three minus B two zero zero. <coughs> Apply this formula. Let me see who does it first. One thousand one hundred ninety nine three eight one nine two. Yes. Fine. You get the same. It's not one thousand. It's fourteen lakh ninety nine thousand three hundred eighty two point nine two. Now further, now further what? The company is also trying to give some retirement benefit to the same employee. The company is trying to give some retirement benefit to the same employee. Now what the company wants? Now the company wants to know that if this employee is to be offered to be two lakhs each year after retirement, and his life expectancy is seventy-five years, it means two lakh each year. For 15 years, the company wants to pay. Okay, because after retirement, after 75 years, if the company is expected expectancy to live, so 15 years the company wants to make arrangement for. It means the company has to pay rupees two lakhs to the employee for 15 years because it will retire at the age of 60. From 60 to 75, the company wants to pay. So this is what the company wants to go for. And further, the management of the company wants to know how much amount should be deducted from the employee's salary. So that the company may be able to meet out its obligation without incurring any cost. Company doesn't want to incur any cost, but it wants to deduct something from the employee's salary annually. Okay, the rate of interest now is nine percent, and the rate is expected to drop down to seven percent after his retirement. <coughs> so nine percent is the rate up to sixty years, which we have done previously also. And after his retirement, the rate of interest is going to get down. It is the expectation that the It is expected that the rate of interest will fall from 9% to 7% at the time of the retirement. So, how much amount the company should deduct from his salary now that after his retirement, every year the company is able to pay rupees two lakhs to him without incurring even a single penny. Where now the rate of interest is 9% and it is expected to be 7% after his retirement. <coughs> This is the most tedious question I think I have asked. Sir, excuse me. And some tricky things are required. Sir, uh, the number of years of the while he serves that is that is not given in this. So how can we deduct this employee salary? Which one? So like uh, the life expectancy is 75 years and the retirement age is 60. But from where we are starting that paying that particular person number of years of service that is not given in this particular. Number of years of service is 30 only. 
because he is presently in your employment. At the age of 60, he will retire. So for how much years we have to calculate? It is nothing to be asked with him. And where is the uniform, by the way? No, it is not allowed. Please mind it. In my class, at least, it should not be there. Those who are not in uniform, they better stay out. Okay. Apply some things in your mind that how it can be calculated, what steps will you take to it to just go for it. This has to be done in two steps. Step one is to find out the present value of rupees 2 lakh that is to be paid to him for 15 years. Because we are studying today. We have to start paying him 2 lakh rupees at the age of 60. That is to be calculated for 15 years. Huh? Step two, find out the amount to be directed each year to arrive the required amount. This is to be done. Okay? And this can be done as follows. Just start typing. Probably for retirement we are preparing. Okay, uh, annual retirement income required is 2 lakhs. <coughs> annual retirement income required per annum is 2 lakhs. Years till retirement, how many years are remaining? 30 years are remaining till retirement. Years after retirement, the life expectancy that is. So 75 minus 60, 15 years. For 15 years, we have to pay to him 2 lakh rupees. And the rate of return before retirement is 9% and the rate of return after retirement is 6%. It means what? What we are calculating? We are calculating the present value for 15 years for rupees 2 lakhs. Okay? Eighteen lakhs twenty-one thousand five hundred eighty-two point eight zero. Have you got it? Has everyone got it? Okay, do it, do it, no problem, do it. And hurry up. I forgot your name. Manakshi. Manakshi, yes. Very good, Manakshi. Just use every reason when you are preparing this. Okay? Don't just try to type it fully. Because handouts are there with you, so no need for uh, going it out. How many of you have done it? Are you have done Now, money required today is to be calculated again. Everyone has done it? Okay? 